Like you have to change them once in a while and I think that's the reason. Oh, okay. You guys choose it for me. This one had the most votes. or my art supplies we got this and we got this <laughs> I really want to unbox my stickers right now but I, f I feel like the mornings are probably better like the quality of filming would be a lot better but I've waited for this for a whole week I'll do this one tomorrow. Let me just clean my stuff. I'm at the art store. I just found this sign explaining how to read the price. It's kind of cute. I currently have these. Tonight or like tomorrow, and I'm currently at the bookstore. Yep, in the corner of a bookstore. I guess it's a really nice corner. Got to set him up. Today. Oh my gosh! I totally forgot about this part. I am so sorry, my friend, my coworker. <laughs> How can I forget the stuff? This is so important. Hey, why did you forget about me? Um, maybe. I don't like to put him too outside because people, some people are really not polite and they snatch him up and I don't like the feeling of my Nikosan being touched.
Hi! Today is Sunday and I am ready to head to a market and my stuff is already at the market so I don't have a big luggage. Let's go. You know there are some moments when you start to think about the little things in life. There is a word in Mandarin called Yuan Fun and I really like that word. It's fate or destiny and I always feel like when people meet each other it's kind of like a fate. When I first started my studio I met a lot of people and I am a person that really wants to grab onto memories. I am a really sentimental person. But you know, sometimes it's just because everyone is like just doing their work and they probably be changing jobs and when we are not that close, that fate would kind of be over. Like we won't be able to meet each other, but we don't have the reason to meet up because we are not that close. For example, like classmates, we would be in the class together for like three years or like how many years and there is like probably one of the classmates that you are not really close to but you always see them in class and you you kind of enjoy that everyone is just together and when you graduate they kind of just disappear in your life and you don't have a reason to meet up same because you are not that close and it's just the same feeling but like adulthood is like the per the person you meet on this journey and they kind of just come and go I'll be like I I just I know I know it's hard to be able to keep everything in life close to me but it's just it's just something kind of sad to think about and reminder make sure to cherish every moment and be nice. Be nice to everyone you meet because you know you would never know that when is the last time you guys would be able to meet. Yep. Why? Hmm? Why? Good morning! Today is Tuesday and I just got back from traditional market. It's my first time going to a traditional market all by myself and I feel like level up! Update! Don't know which was the last. I think I last update with you guys to this part and I got slingshot. I really like the final result of this gouache piece because it's really smooth. This one is tunnel. I had three brainstorm sketch and I couldn't decide which one to choose so I opened up the Instagram poll and you guys choose it for me. This one had the most vote so I end up drawing this one. And then this is message. I ended up with these three these three sketch and the final result I actually drew the keyboard yellow at first but it's it, I don't think I like it so I change it into pink and this one is wand I have brainstorms over here blue is Ravenclaw and Rocky is Gryffindor and just blue ta-da there is a little bit color difference over here and I think I might fix that today and then we would start working on the next piece I have a really messy table I look so ugly these days should I film or like should I focus on drawing it I kind of want to focus. Last Friday, I got a new brush pen. This one is the old one. Um, I used to draw a lot of watercolors and I am a self-taught artist. 
I actually didn't know how to use traditional watercolor brushes before and I started out using these Pinto water brush. It's been a long way with my watercolor journey. And this is a small story. My teacher chose a few students in my class to draw watercolor with like a big arches paper. But I, I don't, I, I really have no idea and I used to hate drawing watercolor because it's just really hard for me. And I drew a piece of Taipei 101. I didn't know how detailed that watercolors could be because in middle school art class, our teacher only told us how to blend like big, big parts. They didn't teach us like watercolors could draw a lot of details. And so that's how I drew that piece. Teacher saw it and he was like, what is this? Like, you're wasting paper, you know? And I was, ugh, I was like so hurt. I'm like, hey, I didn't, like, okay, I, I don't know how to draw and you didn't teach me. And I don't think it's really nice to be called out for like wasting paper because I tried my best and yeah and I was like I was pretty mad at that time I was really hurt and mad and I'm like hmm I want to master this I want to master watercolor and I want to prove you wrong I I'm not wasting paper I have the skills and that's why I started to learn watercolor by myself I didn't I didn't search up any tutorials or like I didn't ask for any teacher to help me because I was really hurt. I was really hurt and I had a big ego. <laughs> I started to practice watercolor by drawing portraits of K-pop artists or like musicians because I really like music and I, I like to draw what I love. These would start to get weared out after half a year so I spent like three years of mastering my watercolor and if you're curious about what watercolor that I'm mentioning about you could go check out there is one of my videos um, explaining like my art journey from 2015 or like 2012 kind of forgot till now like people would ask me about how to draw watercolors and if I could do tutorials because I'm self-taught I don't think I have the most accurate way of drawing watercolors but I, I feel like I could finally prove not to my teacher but to myself I could finally prove myself that hmm, there was just a lack of practice and it's nothing to be ashamed about and that is my little watercolor story but yeah this one was the last pen that I used it's actually pretty yellow I haven't changed this one in a, in a really really long time and last Friday, I just got a new one. Look, look at the difference. The new one, it wears out from the tip. Like this is still really pointy and really easy to control. But these old ones are, the tip would wear out and it just looks like this. It's kind of bent in the top, on the top. And I guess that's just how like you have to change them once in a while and I think that's the reason because that story of wasting paper and the journey of trying these I didn't throw these pens away and the more I gather the more I'm not able to let them go because I'm a really sentimental person there is going to be a day when I need to throw them away but at least I have it on my video I, I have a place to like at least store this memory watercolor brushes are really they save up a lot of water yesterday I filled my water to this line I finished this whole piece with using this little water so it's really convenient but sometimes I would ask myself if I rely on these new brushes instead of the traditional ones. Can I call myself an artist that knows how to draw watercolor? There is definitely going to be an era when things change, right? It's so pretty. It's actually really cloudy outside, but I guess that there isn't, there's not a lot of cloud over here and the sun sets at the west side so wow it's so pretty <laughs>
Got a haircut.